Everyone out there in the world is trying their hardest. But sometimes, people f up. <laughs> and when they do, we've gotta call them out. Because how else are they gonna learn? So that brings us to our brand new segment, Ear Done F***ed Up. <laughs> First up, cruise ships. <laughs> Usually, they're a fun, easy way to take a vacation and maybe have a threesome with an elderly couple who want to spice up their marriage. <laughs> I'll never... I'll never forget you, Helen and Howard. <laughs> but unfortunately for some vacationers last week, their cruise ended in disaster because Viking cruisers... you done f***ed up. Norway is investigating why a cruise ship carrying more than 1,300 people set sail despite storm warnings. The Viking Sky encountered engine trouble, lost power, and issued a mayday call on Saturday. It anchored off of the Norwegian coast in heavy winds and high waves to avoid drifting onto the rocks. Hundreds of passengers, including many Americans, were rescued by helicopter. Okay, that is insane. <laughs> and not, not the ship part the fact that the person holding the camera is steady while everything else is flying around. <laughs> How are you doing that? Everything else is shaking. And you know, this is something I've noticed you see all the time in disasters, right? Everything else will be in chaos, but the person holding the camera is always perfectly still. <laughs> it's almost like filming a disaster on your phone gives you superpowers. <laughs> like the wind will be blowing things and shaking you like, must go viral! <laughs> But on a serious note, though, that... that... just being on that boat must have been terrifying. I bet even the Somali pirates were like, look at me, you are the captain now! <laughs> you are the captain! I'm out! I'm out! I can't do this, huh? <laughs> like, seriously, that video makes me never want to go on a boat ever again. But I... I mean, I'm from Africa, so I've been skeptical about boats from the beginning. <laughs> like, they said that cruise was all-inclusive, too. <laughs> but enough of the high seas. Let's go now to outer space, NASA. In the past, they took a giant leap for mankind. But this week, when it comes to women, NASA, you're done f***ed up. Apparently, gender inequality knows no bounds, not even in space. NASA's first all-female spacewalk had to be canceled because there weren't enough spacesuits that fit. The crew only has one medium-sized spacesuit available at the International Space Station. This despite the fact that the women's 2013 astronaut class was 50% female. Seriously? NASA had to cancel the first all-female spacewalk because they didn't pack enough spacesuits? <laughs> how do you screw that up? You know how many astronauts are on the shuttle. It's not like you can have a surprise extra astronaut, like, <laughs> oh, shit, we only planned for four astronauts, but then Susan wanted to come. <laughs> Though, though, it would be great if she opened her suitcase on the ship and found her husband's business suits, and she was like, wait, if I've got his suit, then that means no! <laughs> so that was the U.S., but America doesn't have a monopoly on screwing things up. Just look at the British healthcare system. Yes, you guys might have universal coverage for all your citizens, but for one patient, you done f***ed up. A man has been mistakenly circumcised while under the care of Leicester's hospitals, according to a new report. The patient was meant to be having a procedure to look inside his bladder using a thin camera. The error was revealed by the clinical commissioning group in compiling so-called never events because they should never happen. Oh, my word. <laughs> a patient was accidentally circumcised? That is messed up. <laughs> Have you ever gone to the barber and then they took a little too much off your hair? <laughs> Remember how you freaked out, yeah? Now imagine if that happened to your dick, huh? <laughs> imagine. Because you can't wear a hat on your dick to cover it up. <laughs> yeah, you can't be like, sorry, it's just so bright out today, the sun gets in my dick's eyes, yeah. <laughs> Accidentally circumcised? Now I'm worried that they switched other charts. Like, so someone else in the hospital went home with an extra foreskin. <laughs> The friend was like, I thought you were just getting Botox. He's like, that's what I thought, too! <laughs> and it's not just Britain's health service having issues. It's also one of their airline companies. Because British Airways, you guys can say it with me. You're done f***ed <laughs> up! A British Airways flight headed for Germany mistakenly ended up in Scotland. 
BA-3271, supposed to fly from London straight over the English Channel and onto Germany. Instead, the plane took off to the north, flew over most of England before crossing into Scotland and landing in Edinburgh. The problem? A ground staffer typed the wrong airport code into the flight plan and no one noticed. The pilots assumed they were supposed to go to Edinburgh. No, 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 no. British Airways was trying to fly to Germany and flew to Scotland instead? Man, Brexit is screwed. I don't know how Britain is gonna leave Europe if they can't even find their way out of their own country. <laughs> Brexit will probably end up like, we did it, we're out of the EU, we're independent. No, 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 wait, wait, we're still in the EU. <laughs> and now, somehow, we've also joined the WNBA. <laughs> You know what the crazy part is? <laughs> the crazy part is that Scottish accents are so thick, I bet some passengers thought they were in Germany. <laughs> yeah, because if you think about it, Scottish is the German of English, right? It's just as rough. They probably got off the plane like, I'm in Germany! And they're like, ah, oh, yeah, you're not in Germany. Yeah, <laughs> yeah bleeding shit, my cherry head. Yeah. I, I'm sorry, sir, no spreshen de Deutsch. No spreshen, I don't like you, me, you piggy, I train your dragon in three day. Yeah, uh, what you know you like. Seriously, like, I can't believe. I can't believe British Airways landed in the wrong country. And the worst part is that everyone on board got accidentally circumcised. <laughs> That's all the time we got. Join us next week to find out who done up. <laughs>